Hello guys! What's up? It's Saturday night and I feel like getting weird with some expanding foam. And Gerson, congratulations because you were first to the party. And I don't know how the heck you even got here. I was like just clicking live and you were like, hey, hey, it's crazy. So um, without further ado, let's get up the chat just so I can, uh, I got to set up this little scenario. Today, or I should say tonight, we're going to be getting weird with some DIY expanding foam. I have a bunch of terracotta pots and they're apps. I got some absolutely massive ones and I have some smaller ones. We're going, what we're going to be doing is uh, attempting to glue them together. And uh, I've, I have a video on this in the arsenal somewhere. And a lot of people were just hated it because it was, it's kind of like shooting from the hip. You know what I mean? You're kind of just thinking around making your own decorations and hopefully it is somewhat cool and some people join as we get going here. So um, bringing up the chat here, I'm pretty sure YouTube didn't send out the notifications because we only have a couple people here, but that's all right. I'm sure some people will start clicking the home button on YouTube or uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how you get here, but hopefully you get here. So without further ado, uh, shout out to Gerson. Dar Daryl says hello. Hello, folks. All right, so Mr. B says, be right back. I'm gonna go share this out. All right, cool, brother, thank you. Mason says, what's up, hello. All right, guys, so I guess without, um, I'm, I'm pretty pumped up, so I don't wanna waste too much time, and I guess I will get right into it. I'm gonna move the camera here for a little better cool, for a little bit better of a view. Uh, I was a little afraid to do this, but uh, it is what it is, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna go for it. So we have some great stuff. I love this stuff. Pond and stone. This I ha I've done so many DIY backgrounds with this stuff, and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, you, I have even completely just done the background on the inside of a glass tank because you know, like if it's a 20 gallon tank and you want it to look awesome. What you can do is just spray this stuff on the inside. It's absolutely, uh, and you might say, hey, well, Chris, what happens if I have to re-silicone it? It's a, it's a 20 gallon tank. It's literally 20 bucks. Uh, and sometimes what I've had, to, sometimes what I've done is use this stuff as the sealer because on a leaky tank, I've just covered the seals with this stuff and it has worked. This could completely seal a tank. It's absolutely insane stuff. I'm gonna throw a link in the description box. I can only find it on Amazon. Uh, be, uh, viewer beware, when you buy this stuff, it's completely awesome, don't get me wrong, but do not get it on your skin. I will repeat, do not get it on your skin. This stuff is like, I've dealt with a lot of stuff. Fiberglass, uh, just literally anything you can play with on the planet, the chances are I've played with it. Like etching concrete, I absolutely love playing around and just doing cool stuff. And this stuff took a week to get off my skin. It's absolutely nuts. Matt's Monster Fish says, what's up, Bubba? Ugh. All right, shake vigorously. Um, directions, I can't even read them. It doesn't matter. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, WD-40 takes it off, says someone. Uh, I wish I would have known that, brother. Chris Says Chris Farrell. All right, guys. So essentially, you shake it up like a mother, and you twist this on, and... Uh, Stand by because I gotta I gotta move the cameras to where I can kind of get a better view. <sighs> Moving this tripod, scary. Okay, I got cords everywhere. All right, essentially, let's see if this is gonna work. So, Matt's monster fish says hello, Daryl. All right, let's see if we can move closer. And like I said, you guys gotta work with me because this is kind of some freaky stuff for a creator. All right, so essentially, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta quit saying that. What I did was I taped a garbage bag to this table and I did masking tape a bunch of times. That way, uh, this stuff is crazy messy. You're gonna, you're gonna see that and it's, uh, it's scary. And what's gonna happen when I cover the decorations completely in this stuff, I'm gonna have to let it sit because you have to let it sit for 24 hours. And what it does is it sticks to the surface. So probably what I'm gonna have to do is try to like uh, set it in a certain manner or I'm just gonna have to peel it apart to where I'm confident that, because whatever it sits on, it's also going to stick to. And that is another thing to like think about. But anyways, let's let's just jump right into it. 
All right, so I got the huge, the huge pot here. And uh, like I said, wear gloves, guys. Wear gloves, because this is some crazy stuff here. All right, putting on my gloves. All right. This is probably gonna make for awesome viewing. Here's Chris putting on some gloves. So it's Saturday night, guys. I got the chat up. What is everyone up to? I see David F is in the chat. Matt's Monster Fish. Jubba Bubba. Is that how you pronounce that? He says, how's the 10-foot tank coming along? 10-foot tank. Maybe you're thinking of the acrylic 6-foot 280 I got my hands on. Uh, I haven't done much with it. It's sitting in my shop because it's literally, it was negative 19 last night. And it's, uh, it's just so cold right now. It's not heated. Matt's Monster Fish says, drinking beer and hanging out. That's, that's the spirit. You should be busy making videos, sir. Naturally Lochi says, uh, finally hit 61 subscribers. Um, congrats. Shishi's Bubble Nest says, grats. All right. So you use this stuff for like, what, a texture, she says? Yes. Uh, I get sick of the terracotta pot look because it's in all my tanks. And if we're being completely honest, it just doesn't, it doesn't, like blend in with a natural scape essentially and what you can do is you can glue this stuff together like you you can glue pvc in there actually i should have grabbed some pvc that would have made for a cool uh i think i have some black pipes i should throw some black pipes in there too because you can you can glue rocks in there you can throw some sand on there i actually should have grabbed some substrate because you can throw substrate or sand at it as it's like still wet ray says i'm waiting for a pizza Heck yeah. All right, guys, uh, I'm just going for it. So let's do the big one first. And uh, I got, I don't know how this is gonna go, guys. So it is what it is. Um, this could be a total catastrophe and what have you. All right, so I've shaped this stuff up. Oh my God, is this thing not gonna work? Uh. For some reason, it's really hard. Ugh. Yeah, see, it's kind of it's kind of scary stuff. It usually doesn't come out like this, so I gotta I gotta tell you that. What the Dickens? Yeah, it's already shooting everywhere. All right, so it comes out pretty weird, as you can see. And if I would give you any advice. Just literally start spreading. And you gotta, uh, I should tell you that this stuff does expand. It's expanding foam. So, and for those of you wondering, my tattoos are fish. They're all fish. God, this stuff isn't coming out like I, like I remember. It's like struggling. Ugh. Come on, daddy. All right, and I'm not going to put foam on the inside just because it's, uh, I want the fish to possibly breed on the inside, you know what I mean? So it's, all right. What do you, what do you guys think? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna stand up and get totally like into this. And you, you guys gotta know like, Within like two hours, even though I'm spreading this, it's going to look different because it's expanding foam. All right, I gotta reposition this beast. Okay. Let's see the inside here. I'm not gonna do the inside, I don't think. I don't think so. Oof. It's a disaster. I gotta hit up the chat, see what they're saying here. And of course, the chat has stopped. Roll in gravel, says Mr. B. Yeah, that would be a great idea. I, should, I wonder if I can find some gravel really quick. This might look kind of cool. 
It's coming together, guys. Avoid the camera. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good idea. All right, so uh, this can has been sitting in storage for maybe like six months, and I feel like that is maybe making it come out weird because usually it comes out better, but I'm not going to let that deter me. There's really no good way of doing this, guys. It's a lot like mixing. If I like, if I were to cover this thing in peanut butter, that's what kind of what I'd compare it to. And I probably should have moved my $200 sound bar that's right there. You can literally see it's a Vizio sound bar. Or maybe it's a Samsung, I don't know. All right, so I just want to make sure 100% of it is covered. All right. Ugh, it's just, it, it, there's no good way of doing it, if I'm being completely honest. The best way is kind of just, just go 100% at it with both hands. And I thought I'd have a lot more to do a lot of pots, but I don't think, I mean, these big pots are freaking massive. So the coverage, give you guys a close up. That's kind of going to be the texture. It's going to expand a little bit. Uh, I think that's going to look cool in the tank. It's really up to your, it's really up to you. And if you think like uh, maybe you, someone was just saying you could maybe use a wire brush on it to kind of like give it more of a, a stone-like appeal aesthetic essentially but like I said I'll throw a link in the description box to this stuff it's really cool stuff I do a lot of DIY backgrounds and I actually found it in the reptile industry because they use it for a lot of like uh, frog setups I don't know anything about frogs or reptiles but come on friend all right there we go so I'm gonna mix it up and I don't think I wonder if I, sh if I left the bottom not foamed, it might be, it, it won't stick to the bottom as much, essentially. And this, you can put a terracotta pot straight up in the tank. If a lot, some people are talking about that, and you're saying, why are you doing that? You know, like, a lot, I just don't like the look. You know, like, when not, you have a flower horn in a tank, and it, you have a big terracotta pot in there, it kind of takes away from the aesthetic. And there's not a lot you can put on. People always ask me, like, what can I paint things with? You know, like, your intake tubes. And I started telling people to use this on their intake tubes because this stuff never comes off. You're literally coating it, and it's never coming off. Whereas, like, Plasti Dip and some of the sealers, it comes off in, like, two years just from, like, it's just essentially a plastic coating. You know what I mean? All right, this is, this is a hot mess, I'm not gonna lie, but it is what it is. And some of you guys are asking if I'm gonna be doing more streams tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a couple streams. So I'm pumped up, it's Saturday night. Uh, my wife's in a good mood, I'm in a good mood. Avery's sleeping. Uh, yes, this shows you how sticky it is. Let's, uh, that, that is what it looks like, guys. It's a hot mess. If you get it on your skin, you're going to be crying. All right. So I just don't want to miss some spots because I've done that before. Like if you miss spots and then you get it in the tank later and you're like, God dang it, I missed that spot and it looks hideous. And I could put it on thicker, but you got to remember it's going to expand a little bit. Glue Java Moss to the pot. KG Cichlid says cover it in Java Moss. That'd be a pretty cool idea too, man. That's a good idea, you know what I'm saying? When we get an update on the shop, it's coming very soon, guys. Uh, I promise it's gonna heat up this week and I'm getting out there. I'm get, uh, I've been working on there, working on it. All right, I guess I'm gonna do 100% of the pot. But yeah, if you guys are using this stuff, I know I've said this like 20 hundred times, but Make sure you have like tape, like use some plastic. Uh, I've done this in the on the concrete in the garage before, and it literally the 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 stuff is still on the concrete, and it's this. I don't know what this stuff is made of, but it is so crazy sticky and industrial. I love it because like 
if I ever in the shop, if I have to do like DIY, I might do DIY overflows with PVC, except I hate the look of anything white in tanks. So I'll probably go back and cover all this stuff in this, in this foam. And a lot of people might say, well, that's a lot of work, but color aesthetics is a, is a big deal for me in tanks. You know, like I used to just be like, ah, screw it. But like, as time goes by and you're taking pictures of your tanks and like the, the way your tank looks is everything. You know what I mean? Jackie Moore says WTF laugh out loud. Yes, we're creating, this is a witchcraft hat. You will wear this at the next ceremony and you will say a, a, a spell. So yeah, it's, uh, it is what it is. It's kind of cool. Maybe you don't like it. Uh, the inside, maybe I should do the inside. It's like, ugh. I think, I think you got to do the inside maybe because and if, you can tell if I start rolling it around, ugh, if I start rolling it around, all of a sudden the aesthetic completely changes. See that? Look at how sticky that crap is. It's ridiculous. Uh, you could you could do this and then throw sand at it. It, it really depends what look you're going for, guys. Um, I usually like with these big pots, I like to angle them at against the back glass because that kind of gives the feeling that the fish is hiding a lot. All right, I think I'm gonna call this one done, even though I'm not gonna do the inside, guys, just for video purposes. I'm gonna jump to some of these small ones. Look at how sticky that is. It's ridiculous. Here. Look at that. So if you're worried about it, like, ugh, not sticking to something, that's not going to be an issue. All right, I'm going to carefully move that right there. And there's a lot of people making fun of this in the chat. It's totally fine. Koi Dragon Aquatic says, what's going on? Black PVC aquarium safe. Yes, it is. Or just use an overflow box as Matt. Um, I don't want overflow boxes in my tanks. Like, I don't like overflow boxes. Ontario Aquatic says, that's what she said, laugh a lot. All right, guys. So, this is the more common size one. And I can literally just like, touch this a bunch of times. Ugh. All right, I'm going to ditch these gloves because they're, like, almost impossible to work with. Yeah. <sighs> Ooh, sweaty. All right, hit up the chat here. I'm going to let my hands dry here for a second. Naturally, Lochi says I'm back. Mr. B, roll in gravel. Yeah, that'd be really cool, especially, like, if you did maybe, like, natural gravel or, I think, sand. If you did, like, a, a white sand. Like, there's so many different stuff you could do. It's, uh... Do you have any of those completed in your tank? I do, I do, I do, I do. Where are they? Um, yes, let me, let me, I'm going to steal the camera here and I'm going to show you guys. That's a, that's a good deal. Or a good question here, essentially. All right, so moving camera, flip cam. So the side of right says, Chris, I'm going to be honest with you. Those gloves and those tattoos, looks like you're up to something. All right, so this is the crazy aggressive Midas and he's healing up quite nicely uh still maybe looking for a home for this one it's just insane if you're looking for a midas that's insane anyways long story short has so many lights and reflections in here uh there is a there's one pot that i did the outside of do you guys um can you see it not very well huh and i actually grindered the back of it uh, god oh here's one right here what am i doing there's one right there. It's a smaller one, and it just it looks better in the tank. I, I feel like the fish enjoy it more. I broke off the back of it to kind of like so fish can go in and out of it. Um, it's it's. If I'm being completely honest, it's really up to you. It's just kind of a cool idea that I like to do. Uh, the texture is different. I'm gonna say. Let's take a look at this pot. It, it looks cool. I don't know. Like, it's different. It's not, it's not a, it, people are, people are uh, trolling this, but it's like, this isn't a terracotta pot anymore. This looks a lot cooler. And this is like, this pot is $5 and it's almost the size of like a, th this is a three gallon bucket hiding spot for your fish. So, I don't know, guys. Uh, when you have tons of tanks, you're looking for decorations on the cheap. All right, let's get back into this. Are my hands dry yet? All right, the texture looks cool, some people are saying. All right, I think it looks good, says Aquarium Thoughts. Thank you, brother. Um, 
let's by the way if you when you use these cans you can't it's really hard to like reuse them i've learned like if, if you're if you buy a can of it it's like 10 bucks a can but if you're using it like you got to use the entire can so i'm gonna try to use it Christy says the possibilities are endless. What you could throw in there. I'm loving the idea. Thank you, Kirsty. Thank you. Thank you. Big Feste says, I just get the pots that are brown or black. I can't find those, brother. You got to send me a link. Mr. B's fishing thing says, use it all. Yeah, you got to use it all. That's the thing with expanding foam. But there are some DIY deals on YouTube to where you can, re you can reuse it. So Brent's Fish Rescue says, no offense, Palmer. You can make them... You can make them way better than that. You can. Uh, I, that's where I'm gonna leave it up to you, brother. Like, I'm just kinda, this is hard to do on live stream, you know what I mean? So it's like, uh, I, I, I could do anything with that. And I, ha I have tons more pots. I have like 50 of these pots because uh, one of the home improvement stores literally had them half off. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a ton of these when setting up the store. All right, so let's, Ugh. Let's see if we can get weird again. I want to try to glue two of these together. I wonder if that's like even possible. I don't know. Or uh, you could add some PVC in there. I'm sure I'll be trying to do something cool and I'll run out of the foam. All right, so we're covering this guy. Yeah, true. It makes sense. Takes time to make nice DIY decorations. It truly does. This is a, I honestly think this is just a cool decoration in itself. So I'm really into the black aesthetic. You guys know I like dark South American tanks. So it's like, I'm not trying to make like, because I've, I've, I have some videos where I get like really weird and people are like, oh, you're a meth head. But like, I, I just like making this stuff and I've done it all. The, the DIY PVC ones where you cut them and paint them, the paint comes off. It's really, and a lot of my like PetSmart decorations that I bought like 10 years ago, like the paint is starting to come off because it's all it is is an epoxy. Same with your gravel. Did you guys know that your, uh, your colored gravel is just paint, it's natural gravel painted in epoxy? Like, and then years later, if you have cichlids that are constantly messing with it, the epoxy comes off. So, all right. Experiments are the best with doing this. Yeah, I mean, it really depends the look you're going for. I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a cichlid guy. A lot of fish like hiding spots. This would be good for like maybe some catfish if you want to bury it into the, into the tank. And a lot of people will also do like black pipes or PVC, but some of those float where, and these are stone and they sink. I also have done like cinder blocks. I've done cinder blocks in this stuff too because cinder blocks have the tunnels and cichlids absolutely love that. Uh, I've broken off cinder blocks. Like I've just done a lot of crazy things and it just really depends on where you at, are in your fish, you know, how, how deep you are down the wormhole essentially. All right, so I'm gonna try to get this brim. This is one of those things where you just sit back and have a glass of wine or a cold beer. Just kind of chill out in your garage. All right, this one's kind of done. Pretty much done. I don't use those, I don't use the store decor. I had paint flaking off after a few weeks. Yeah, it really kind of sucks. So I, that would look mint rolled in crushed coral in African setup. I know, right? Like I thought about building all right, I'm gonna attempt to glue two of these together, or maybe three of them. Is it possible, like I could vice versa, vice versa them, and then like, like could I glue, glue them like that in a, like a series? That would make a great cichlid, like, cove, essentially. I don't know, maybe it's a stupid idea. Um, I would have to leave it like that. Oh, I just touched my mouse. That's gonna be fun. I don't know, there's a lot of ideas. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that right now just because like this is my office and this is my freaking desk and I'm gonna live stream after this a bit, but it gives you an idea of what the like options you have you could do and this expanding foam is, you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. 
I know a lot of people are making fun of it. That's totally cool. Doesn't bother me. I'm gonna put this one in here. Ugh. And it's it's almost dry, like within I would say uh, it's it's really tacky dry within 10 minutes, which is nice. So I've been doing this for 25 minutes. I'm gonna finish one more, hang out in the chat, and then uh, I just it is what it is. I just want to give you guys an idea. Like if I were to go at this hardcore, I would do this out in my garage and I would maybe get like some masking tape involved and tape some things together, get some PVC in there, maybe some sand, like just get crazy with it. Are you in a well ventilated area? Nope. I'm high as a kite right now, bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, uh, I have an air exchanger in my, in this room here. I built it. I have a video on that too, so. All right. Oh, I'm sure he is. <laughs> nah, it's actually not that bad. But yeah, I'm only going to do a couple of these and then kind of ditch the idea. This one's more smooth because I'm making it, like, running it. It's more of a glossy. I don't really like that. I got to roughen it up. That stuff does stink, especially silicone. Yeah, I could, actually I could silicone them together. All right, I think this stuff's out. No, it's not, false alarm. Also guys, what should I do my next stream on? Because I'm, I'm gonna do another stream after this and I'm trying to think of a cool idea to do. I mean, you can't beat messing around with palm foam, right? <laughs> All right, so what you could maybe do to add texture is to like put your hand on it, pull it away. This stuff is, this stuff's really wet. So I'm wondering if like, if it was more dry, you can kind of tell it's getting more of like a different aesthetic to it. I'm telling you though, guys, this, this looks a lot cooler than just regular, regular terracotta pots. I'm going to do the inside because I don't like the look of the insides right now. Because if you get a view on the inside, it's going to be hideous. All right. I'm building some now, so that would be awesome if you did a video. DIY stands, next live video, Palmer. Yeah, I can maybe do that when I'm building. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of DIY wood stands in the shop for like some weird tanks. I know I said I'm going to be doing a lot of industrial. Uh, there is a lot of industrial shelving. But for some of the tanks, like I have an Oddball 150. And it's like some of the tanks just do need DIY stands. All right, so that is a lot better. Don't you agree, guys? Like sitting in your tank, it's going to be a lot better. I'm going to do the other one now here. Oh, there it is. There's the power. This head's starting to come off. Oddball and Loach's next stream. Let's go. Coming from Naturally Loach, yeah. Uh, differences between Midas and Red Devils would be a good stream. Yeah, that would be a good stream. A lot of people misinterpret their Red Devil as uh, Midas. You know, like, yeah, that's a Midas. Red Devils are a lot more white. And I get a lot of compliments on my Red Devil, and I'm, I'm flattered. <laughs> hey, Chris, what's your least favorite fish? Uh, that is a crazy question. You're going to piss off a lot of people if I answer that. I would say my least favorite fish... As I as I just jump right into the question, like I'm gonna answer it. All right, so now it's getting tacky, guys. See that? It's getting tacky, which is kind of cool. You gotta admit, I even some of those trolls out there, I know that you're you're thinking of the things you could do with this stuff, and you're gonna go to home. You're gonna go to Home Depot tomorrow and be buying some of this. I know it. All right, see if I have enough to do the inside of the big one. This one is just that's gonna be half done. That's all right. I'll finish it another day. All right, how can I set this? Ah. All right, hopefully I have enough to do the inside. But yeah, you can see this stuff's drying. Uh, as it's drying, you can tell it gets that expanding foam look. You don't want that. You can always razor blade it after, but as it's, as it's like half hard, I always just like to smash it because it's not a realistic look. And what you can also do is take a razor blade and just kind of like go to town on this stuff and shape it however you want. Because sometimes it does get like a bubbly 
what I'll do is I'll grab some uh, like 80 grit sandpaper and I'll put like the sander and it just takes it right down. All right. But you can leave it too, it's really up to you. You can see right here, the, it's like a flake starting to happen. See that flake? Winter is the best time to stock up on the pots. Yeah, I just said that, uh, I got these discount. Let it fly, huh? Is that low expansion or high expansion? I have no idea. Uh, this is just pond foam, great stuff. I'll throw a link in the description box. Uh, it's a, the, the only place I can find it is Amazon. Once in a while you can find it at Home Depot, maybe in like the middle of summer when people are making their ponds. A lot, this is huge in the pond industry because people, what they do is they make artificial rocks out of it and they'll spray paint it after it's done or they'll glue rocks together. It's really popular. And I don't know why it's not more popular in the aquarium industry because a lot of us are like screwing around with so much uh, like sealers and stuff. And this stuff is, this stuff is aquarium strength right out of the bottle. Like once it dries in 24 hours. Ugh. All right, this is not easy guys. I'm not, I'm not lying. I think back when my mom did ponds, she used a lot of that stuff. Set aside right. Yes. I was I wasn't gonna do the inside because I was gonna leave it in case fish wanted to breed in here because they prefer to lay their eggs on a stone-like surface. But I don't know, I think we'll be alright. I think it looked a lot cooler. Imagine like my big red devil, that 13-inch beast just coming in and out of here. And I'm gonna show you guys a video of this in that tank probably because uh, it's gonna look sweet. I'm excited. He, he is looking like a tattoo artist as, as F right now. Yes, I love tattoos. I'm trying to cover my body in fish tattoos. I'm just a weirdo like that. All right, it's, it's aquarium safe, nice. Not sure the regular stuff is. Yeah, you know, I spent like an hour or a couple hours once trying to find out if the regular stuff was aquarium safe. And uh, there's just, there's not a lot of info on it. And I just, I'm sure it is because I'm guessing they just add like a color to this stuff. Oh God. Oh God, I gotta get the gloves off. Ugh. Oh, look at that, it's on my skin, no. Who said, what, what works to get the stuff? WD-40, you said? Probably have some of that in the garage. And literally, when you go to wipe this stuff, it's, it, it doesn't come off. It smears, it's ridiculous. And now for the rest of the night, I get to live stream with this next to us. Yay, not. <sighs> All right, guys. I'll use another glove to wipe it. Just to show you guys, as a learning experience, I'll try to wipe this. All right, it actually, Oh my God, this is a disaster. <sighs> no. Do as I say, not as I do. All right, let's move back to the regular spot. And hello from Pennsylvania. Hello. <sighs> I'm sweating. I've got stuff all over me. I'm gonna need like 10 minutes to clean up, guys. Um, hopefully you guys like this DIY expanding foam aquarium decorations um 68 people watching give this video a thumbs up i'm gonna go wash up and we're going to be doing another live stream in probably 10 minutes once i wash up and let this video upload what have you uh, let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section would you do this would you put the, this stuff in your tank would you would you not touch it is this stuff stupid is it do you use terracotta pots or do you use black PVC as your aquarium decorations? Uh, what do you do? Baby oil will take it off, says Big Fest Day. All right, hopefully my wife has baby oil. Or I should say we have baby oil for my baby. PVC. Yes, some PVC um, doesn't, it doesn't sink. Like if you try to get into the irrigation PVC, it doesn't sink. And that is kind of a battle I've dealt with too. All right, guys, this stuff's starting to bubble up, so I'm just smoothing it out. And I'm unsure of something. Test with feeder fish. 
yeah, I've had this, I have these in a lot of my tanks, a lot of my decor. Uh, there's a bunch of tanks in the shop right now with DIY backgrounds using this stuff. Ugh, it's like starting to drip from the top to the bottom. Yeah, um, as it hardens, like sit there and like, uh, like smooth it around essentially. Stuff's crazy. Would be cool as a background. Yes, I have like three tanks with backgrounds on it. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to try to get this off before it dries. Let me know in the comment section if you'd ever use it or you wouldn't.